Hello everyone. We are going to get creative today. Um, and I thought it would be fun to actually help organize my foundations. Um, sorry guys, as many of you know, I've had oral surgery, so I apologize. I just, my face is completely blown up. Um, so I thought it would be really super fun to actually walk you through. This is a little embarrassing, but we'll, um, I thought it'd be fun to walk you through all of my foundations that I currently own. And um, yes, I do have a problem. Foundation is my absolute favorite thing to purchase. Um, I just think it's a game changer. Um, I, I take really great care of my skin, but I just still think that foundation is so fun to just smooth it out and perfect it and um, has always just been my absolute favorite thing to purchase. Well, just makeup in general. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Abby Bliss White and the reason I'm not showing you my face at the moment is because I had oral surgery and um, I am bruised and my face is very swollen and I'm having to be low key, which is not really in my nature. I'm usually a pretty active girl. <laughs> um, so I wanted to use this um, time to kind of, I thought, let's be creative and then I was like, oh my gosh, we are gonna help organize my foundation because my hubby is getting a little bit um, ticked off with just so many of the piles like I need to organize. So what I thought I would do, you guys, is walk you through, I've got this humongous tray. This is what, these are like all the foundations that I currently have and then I might as well give you a heads up that I did order that new Laura Mercier um, Luminous foundation that she just launched. So yes, I have a problem. <laughs> um, so I'm so excited. So once I'm healed a little bit, I will um, be doing a foundation Friday on that. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Okay, so let's dive in. And what I thought I would do is kind of walk through all of my foundations and it'll probably be separated into different part one, part two, because I just want to tell you a little bit about them and if I like them um, and that. So we're going to start with this little quadrant down over here with the squeezy tubes. And I obviously like squeezy tubes. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, you guys, this one is very well loved. This is Le Métier de Bouteau, um, Bouteau, I'm saying that wrong, Po, um, Po, it's already, uh, Po Visage Anti-Aging Complex. So you guys, this one is something I have bought a couple different ones of them. It is, I guess I would call it a foundation, I have this in shade two. So this is more of a treatment foundation. Um, it has SPF in it. It's very glowy. And I really like this when I'm having good skin days. So sometimes if I don't have enough coverage, I will use this guy as a um, primer and then add more foundation on top. But as you guys can see, it is a really pretty um, foundation. So that one I'm gonna categorize as a treatment foundation. So we're gonna actually organize. So this was, I would say, definitely glowy. Um, if you're new to my channel, you guys, I am 50 years old. Um, I have dry, normal to dry skin. My main issues are hyperpigmentation and I tend to like the medium foundations. Um, I light to medium, I, I, the light, some if they're too sheer, I tend to not like them quite as much. I need a little foundation for my hyperpigmentation. Okay, so, um, and in general, you guys, I tend to like more of the radiant, kind of glowy foundations, but you'll see, I have a mix in there. Okay, next one up is the, um, 
Two Chaclat All in One Glow, and this is in one of these lovely squeezy tubes. And whew, um, this one is in B20. Okay, really, I have to say I do like this one. I think it's great for the summer. The but I did find that you really need to use this with your fingertips. Like they, this one, I didn't care for with a beauty blender or a brush, you really need to work the pigment into your skin with your fingertips. So if you guys, I do love obviously these little squeezy tubes, <laughs> um, but this one is just a really nice glowy foundation. I think it's really great for the summer. Um, so, and I think I, ha I have done a video wearing this one. <clears throat> so I, I will link that below. Um, okay. You guys, the tried and true um, It Cosmetics CC Cream, and I have it in medium. I don't know what, how many tubes I've gone through of this, but I really do like this one. I find it very, very dewy, um, and it is full coverage. So one, I know you can shear it out and use less, but I tend to think of this as when my skin isn't behaving this is always one that I go back to because it gives me coverage. It makes my skin look super healthy. Um, and I just, I really love this. So this will probably always be in my arsenal. I just think it's a really great product. There is a reason why so many people love it. Um, speaking along those lines, every time we have this huge joke, um, you guys look at this big guy here. <laughs> um, this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream in um, with the illumination. And I ordered this on QVC to, and you got like, um, I love It Cosmetic brushes. And this came with some brushes or I don't know. Anyways, this is every time my daughter and I like pick this up, I, I brought it to um, a trip one time and we were just laughing so hard because it's such a big, um, Jamonga. I mean, it's just so funny. So the only deal is, is I do not prefer the illumination. I actually like the original, um, it, the CC cream better than I like the illumination. So I have this huge tube of this and this is in shade medium. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe possibly doing like a, um, I know that, um, the dandelions girl does like little makeup sales or whatever, but this guy is just not one that I'm wearing all the time. It's barely been used and it's humongous. So if anybody loves this little CC illumination, let me know. Um, okay. Next guy. Let's see what we got. Let's go keep going with it cosmetics. Okay. You guys, this is another one. This is bye bye foundation. This is full coverage moisturizer. And I honestly have to be honest, I couldn't really tell the difference. Um, or I guess I still prefer this guy. I need to play around with this guy. Again, I bought this off of QVC because I think it came with a brush. And I, again, I really love it cosmetic brushes. I think they're just fantastic. Um, and this is in medium. And as you can see, like, I don't even know if I've even, I think I've used it once. Um, I would love to know what you guys think between the two of these guys. Um, I thought they were very similar. And I remember somebody doing a video on them saying like the ingredients are like essentially the same, but packaged a little differently. I don't know. Anyways, so this guy here is another one that I should use more of. Okay, let's keep with some squeezy tubes. Okay, for a very long time, you guys, this is an old packaging, but I have the Beauty Counter Tint Skin, and um, I do actually sell Beauty Counter. I'm not super active in it, um, but I this is something that I did enjoy, and this one is in sand, and I think the deal was, um, you guys, I was a Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer gal for many, many years. And then I was trying to clean up my act a little bit and shifted over here. I probably, if I'm being honest, still like the Laura Mercier one a little bit better, but um, 
I think it was actually the color shades and in between colors here um, but it's very skin forgiving and this is still one that I should I should probably get rid of this I'm sure it's expired but anyways this is a beautiful clean um, tinted moisturizer okay speaking on the clean front these guys kind of come in combo you guys because um, this is the Jane Aradell Glow Time Full Coverage, you guys. This is full freaking coverage. Um, and um, this guy, Full Coverage B Mineral BB Cream. Now, here's the deal. This thing is so thick. It is so full coverage that I absolutely think that you need to buy the Smooth Affair primer with it because you will hate it without, or you need to cut it with some sort of primer. Um, maybe you won't hate it, but you guys, a little teeny bit goes so, <laughs> so long. I actually would love to do a Foundation Friday on this because this really is a beautiful product. Um, but I do have to say there is a learning method as to how to um, use it and wear it properly. If you put too much on of this, you will look like total cake face. So this is like little teeny bit. Um, and I do have, let me see, I have this in shade seven. I think that's why I haven't been wearing it much often um, because I think it's a little bit dark for me, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, anyways, let's, I'm going to put that aside. You guys, while we're doing this, I would love for you to comment on, um, kind of which order you would like me to do foundation Fridays. If there is some that you would love for me to do sooner rather than later, some that you're not interested in at all. Um, just let me know. Okay. But again, this one, if you put it on properly, your skin will look absolutely flawless but very high coverage very high coverage um okay speaking along this line another one that i love and i actually have two little guys here i have this in light beige and i also have it in ivory ivory is too light for me i don't know how it got matched in that one but um my daughter likes this as well this is a fabulous, fabulous foundation. Absolutely love it. Um, it's a hyaluronic, uh, what's it called? Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. Um, I don't think it gets as much love as it deserves because if you want your skin to look just beautiful, hydrated, plumped, this is the way to go. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I will say I have dry skin and at the end of the day, it, you definitely, I think, need to do just a little bit of powder through the T-zone because that hyaluronic acid really, um, you know, it wears beautifully during the day, but it definitely is hydrating. So love this. And the other day I did a whole um, full face of hourglass makeup and I used this and it just reminded me of how much I love it and how much I love even the hourglass powders and such. So that's kind of fun. That's why I kind of wanted to do this is bring out some of my favorites. But this one, if you have not tried it, cannot recommend it enough. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, couple more squeezy tubes, you guys. Um, okay, this guy, I actually have a big guy. I need to do a foundation Friday on this. This is Shantakai Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. You guys, I have used this off and on for years. This is kind of like, um, again, I was kind of using Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and then I went to Shantakai feeling like maybe it was a little bit cleaner. Um, and this is another one that is just gonna even out your skin. It's not gonna give you full coverage whatsoever, but it's great, like I feel like if that you think about running around on errands or you're having a super good skin day, I think this is beautiful. And I have it in the shade Vanilla. Maybe that is why. Um, let's take a peek, guys, because this might be a teeny bit light for me at the moment, yeah. Okay, um, not terrible, but this is definitely a little bit, my hand is lighter than my face because of my pigmentation, but this is a beautiful product. Um, 
really do. Um, Shantakai does a great job with complexion. So we will use that. Okay, classic, and this is another one that I have bought several times. Um, and the only thing is, I kind of thought this might be irritating my skin. Um, but anyways, this is the, um, it, this is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. You guys, this has a nice amount of coverage in it. It is just a grab and go staple. I have it in Growing Land is the color that I have. I think it's light three. Um, I think that might be it too. Let me see. This is a little bit, teeny bit light, not bad. Um, but you guys, let me show you here. This one is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, do you see how this is just giving you a nice, this is one I should take out again. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes you like stash these things, but this one just gives you a nice little glow. Um, I, I'm gonna pull that out again and try that, use that. I'm kind of making a little stash. And again, um, let me know. This is just a really beautiful tinted moisturizer. It doesn't have tons of coverage, but enough. I would say more on the medium than the light. Um, and I really like that. Okay, my tried and true, I did put in one little primer here. Sorry guys, I just grabbed them together. Um, my tried and true combo, this is fantastic for mature skin. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I hated this in the beginning. I bought um, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder um, at way back when, when it first was launched. And I thought, Ugh, like there's, I did not like it whatsoever. Um, and I'm not quite sure what has changed. I just, I gave it another try after watching a YouTuber um, use it. And I think part of it too is as I'm getting older, less is more. And this guy just, when I put down the light, this is the Wonder Glow. This is an instant, soft focus, um, beauty flash. Um, and then I use the light wonder on top. This combination just is fantastic for mature skin. And again, this just gives you enough coverage. There's some blurring effect to it. And it is just great for day to day, very natural skin like, um, and it can be built up, but I think what's nice is using the two of these together with a little bit of concealer and you're gonna be ready to go. So really love that combination. And then you guys, I'm absolutely loving, this isn't in a 2B, but it's um, the Surratt Beauty Surreal Foundation. And I had bought this in six. And I actually, even though it had a little bit of a rosy, it's called neutral with a tad bit of rose, which is not my favorite. Um, or, you know, I tend to like more warm, even if I am rosy. <laughs> um, and I am absolutely loving this foundation. It is so skin-like. It is a very blurring effect. Um, again, I'm going to say this is great when you have good skin days. Absolutely gorgeous. And, okay, little monster wanted to come up and needed a little attention. For those of you new to my channel, what you hear often in the background is Satchmo. She is a girl <laughs> and she also likes makeup. Um, and I do have another dog that you guys never hear about, but he his name is Gumbo. My husband's from New Orleans, if you are now understanding the, <laughs> the context. But anyways, um, since she was making a, a mess, I thought we would come and say hello. Say hi, sweetie. Okay, so uh, Surreal, this one is a yes. Like I absolutely have been loving it. So skin-like and I will say yes, I'm gonna be using this when my skin looks like clean and clear. This is not gonna give you the kind of coverage um, on days that your skin might not be fabulous. Okay, look at, we are doing so good. I thought this was gonna take us forever to do. Um, okay, whoops, didn't mean to scare you. Let me move on to the next level here. Um, we'll just go ahead and jump in. Okay, you guys, this guy is Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation. Oh my God, okay. You guys, <laughs> This 
is the highest coverage foundation that I have ever gotten. I mean, literally, if you wanna cover everything up, this is the way to go. Um, I am in the shade Almond and um, I, you know what, I, I never use this. I'm just gonna be honest. I, here's when I used it. Uh, Cause it is, it is super like flawless. It, it is beautiful, but it is so high coverage and a teeny weeny bit is all you need. Um, okay, so let me just say one thing is, I had um, gotten a uh, IPL facial, which is where they bring up the pigmentation and it, you know, basically I looked horrible. I had coffee ground like speckles um, all over my face and, you know, I had to go to conferences for my kids. My skin was uh, completely swollen from the experience. And so I literally was like, oh my gosh, um, this is the highest coverage I have. It did like cover that. So that's what I'm saying is, is this is like if my skin looks absolutely horrendous and I have to go out to public, I'm going to use this. Um, I even have the good brush that goes with it. We may want to do a um, foundation Friday on this. I just don't tend to like to wear that heavy of coverage. Um, but it is, it is uh, pretty amazing as far as coverage. So let me know if you guys want to um, see that because this is wowzer. Highest coverage I have in my arsenal. Okay, here's a couple high-end um, foundations that are absolutely, that I love, love, love. Um, this is, I'm almost out, you guys. This is the La Mer um, Soft Fluid long wear foundation with spf 20 and this guy i am in the shade sand so this is i do have to say one of my favorite foundations out of all um really really enjoy this it just has kind of medium to almost full coverage i mean it's a solid medium coverage foundation it just is gorgeous on the skin it really does make your skin look super healthy um, and I think the thing with this is it, it's expensive. Um, I do feel like, um, you know, I have used it enough where I feel like, you know, it was worth it. There, as you can see, I have lots of foundations here that I have bought but barely used. So this is one as you, I'm seriously almost out of it. So I really like this. I think the deal with this one is you have to find the right color. I went through three different color matches. They first put me in neutral and neutral was pulling really gray on me, like literally gray. And then we tried linen and linen, it was just too light. So it's funny because if I go too light, it really makes me look older than I am. Um, and then let's see, we did one other one in between that. Um, and then I ended up being matched with sand, which seems to be the best match for me. Okay. Then my newest high end foundation that I am actually really loving. I am, um, I had gotten this with a gift certificate. So this was actually a gift. Um, and, but I do, I have wanted it for years. I've almost bought it like three or four times, but I tend to be, when I'm gonna spend this much money on a foundation, I always am disappointed. Um, I, so I tend to do better with the medium range foundations that, you know, I, I tend to like those. Besides the La Mer, um, I do, I actually really love the La Mer and I actually would repurchase that. Um, but this guy, you guys, once I got over the learning curve, a little goes a long way. So when I did a demonstration on this, I had put a lot on my face and I was like, uh, I don't know about it. If I just use a little bit and I actually even like the concealer, um, it really does make my face look just super healthy. Um, I took it to New York and it was great in the winter because it was really super cold there and this was super moisturizing. I do have to say, I think there is some skin benefits. I can kind of, you know, how you can feel the difference between 
um, maybe you can't, but my skin, it will like literally react to foundations right away. So this is splurge worthy. Um, and this is basically Mel Thompson's fault and Penn um, Smith skincare because Mel, who I just, you guys, you, I'm sure you know her. She's just the cutest. I just adore her. Um, and she just raved about this. Her skin's amazing. And then um, Penn also told me that she really is enjoying this and liking it. Um, so anyways, when I got this lovely gift certificate, I thought, you know what? We might as well just splurge on this because it has been a lust item. So that one I have to say, yes, I actually do like, but you guys, I like a lot of foundations that are not um, super high end either, or, you know, medium range too. Okay. Let's do a cleany greeny one. This is the Elia and it's still in the package because I think I got the wrong color and I am in, um, Milos, Milos and, um, it says SF8. So anyways, we need to do a, I got one and then that was the wrong color. And then we decided this might be better for me. Um, and so, huh. I, I, <laughs> I'm so bummed because I had already traded it out and I was too embarrassed to take it back again. Um, but I have heard so many good things about this foundation. And so if you guys want to do a foundation Friday on this one, let me know. I'm always looking for like a super clean green foundation that is going to be um, my favorite. And um, we can also go through some of those too. But so this is on my list. I just feel like I have the wrong color. Okay, moving on to a few sticks. Um, again, I'm a huge Hourglass fan and you guys, I love, love, love the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This was my go-to literally um, this was a long running. I, I love this foundation. It's full coverage and this, oh, you guys, I'm sorry. This guy I have in warm beige for just reference. I'm trying to let you know if you're similar in my skin tone. Um, okay. In this one, you guys, I am light beige and nude. Um, and I still love this. It is just a, this is, you can make it high coverage. You can make it um, shear it out. It is just a beautiful foundation. I, I love it. Um, it is fantastic. So I'm going to be covered with foundation by the end of this. Okay. I am going to cut this, um, here and we're going to do part two next. How does that sound? <laughs> Cause I have to go run to an appointment. So you guys, I hope this has been a little informative and what I thought we would do is actually help organize, um, you know, get this a little bit more organized and in control. And then also, um, I would love it if you would help me decide what foundation Fridays you would like, um, what foundations you currently have that maybe I don't have in my collection but that might be something that I would like. And again, I'm very excited for, um, okay, you know, this is serious. I've got a problem. I'm so excited for the Laura Mercier um, new luminous foundation to show up because I have tried the candle glow. Um, I used to be the tinted moisturizer girl. I think I've gotten the silk cream one. Um, but anyhow, that is just one where that brand hasn't been working for me lately. So, um, I, but anyways, okay. I'm a rambling, have a fantastic, um, rest of your day and I'll be back with the rest of my foundation collection. Bye guys.